I don't really know how to start this video. I, I, I really don't. Um, I'm in a weird mindset right now. I'm in a very um, self-reflective um, place at this current moment in time. Because it, it feels like so much has been going on in the last couple of months. And, you know, my, my life has changed so much in the last couple of, you know, like, last two years predominantly. And I guess you could say probably the last five years, I guess, since I started, you know, having YouTube as my full-time job. That things have changed so fast that I've... <laughs> it's hard to really keep up um, with my own personal self-reflection and how I see myself and where I see um, where I am at, at my stage of my life. And um, I'm just in a very self-reflective spot. And I felt like talking about it because I feel like talking about the way that you feel with my channel, especially I've always had a great connection with you, my audience, that I can always have that kind of, you know, real talk video with you guys. And I've done this many, many times in my channel, um, sometimes more positive and negative than others. This one is a, a positive one uh, I, I've in many, many ways. And it's, it's kind of hit me like how much has actually changed. And I've been receiving many questions on my, my Instagram, on my Twitter, on my YouTube, on my Twitch live streams. Um, a lot of questions because I feel like a lot of people, they kind of see all the things I've been doing and they kind of think that, you know, I'm a good person to ask, I guess, in some cases, some more than others. Um, so I guess if you aren't too aware of me or my kind of personal life, but um, I've lived in Poland for the last two years now and I have a seven month old daughter. I am a father, um, born 7th of November, 2021 at 4.47 in the morning in Carvina, Czech Republic. And also I'm getting married next month. Um, and I'm also building a house or oh, the house is almost well, almost completely built. But well, the house is built, but now doing it inside of it. The, re the renovations on the inside of it, the the walls and the the gas and the the electric and like that's a lot of things. <laughs> and um, a lot of that has happened in the last year. You know, I I I, I engaged. Um, I proposed to um, Sonia, who is um, everything in my life in terms of changing it for the better. Um, some people may have different opinions on that kind of thing, but every single thing, before I met Sonia, I, I didn't really have any real plans, I, I was, I wasn't even paying tax, <laughs> so don't send this to, um, don't send this to HMRC, but I, I, I thought I was paying tax, and next thing you know, apparently I wasn't, and she had, she had to sort out all that for me, so that was fun, um, I didn't know where I was at in my life, I, I've done videos before about me and, uh, my kind of, history or my relationship with um with my with my upbringing with my childhood with um alcohol and with that feeling of feeling lost and feeling like you're, you're missing a part of your life that it doesn't really feel like it's really come together the way that you want it to do or feel like you you should be doing something when you aren't and it doesn't feel right and i kind of felt that before i met sonia that i felt like um, back in like the FIFA 18, 19, probably 19, I think. If you, if you go back in my videos, I was, I didn't really look that good in terms of I felt, I, I looked unhealthy, I felt unhealthy. Um, I was drinking very often, I was going out a lot, and that was kind of my main um, source of escape. You know, go and burn the games. I felt that, that feeling, that need that I've got to escape what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis and that's that, that's what I did and when you drink alcohol very often it does have a lot of effects on you when it comes to how you know proactive you can be in terms of simple things like just looking after yourself wanting to eat better um, wanting to go to bed at a reasonable time to look after yourself wanting to shower wanting to get a haircut I'm not saying this, this is all alcohol but I, I was in a routine that was very negative to me and since Sonic came to my life, it is, it's cleared things up for me and I, I see a future and the future is coming together here and I, you know, I've, I've got a daughter, I've, I've, she's seven months old, Lily, absolutely beautiful and I don't even know what this title would even be, would it be, um, bec be a being a father, becoming a father or about just kind of like a real talk, I don't know what to title this video, I really don't because this is just kind of my own personal putting my thoughts out there to you guys because I mean, I've done many videos before in the past of how much YouTube has saved my life. 
I, 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 I was a very quiet kid, very um, insecure kid growing up. And when I go back home to Burnley and I talk to people that knew me back at high school, back when I was growing up, and they don't even recognize me. They don't think I'm the same person, like, at all. Like, they don't think I'm the same person whatsoever. And it's really weird to talk to them and to hear the things that they thought about me. And it's just, like, it's just wild, really, um, of how I was perceived and to think that that's the same person. I mean, in the last... Um, couple of months in terms of professionally as a career um, YouTube's doing really well right now and uh, it's still going well and you know that's I, I hope to keep it going for as long as I possibly can I still enjoy I still got that drive I still, I've still got that that passion to to to, to go out of the kind of uh, pigeonhole that I found myself in of being that kind of like negative FIFA guy I still um, you know I've been transitioning a lot to much more like in real life football stuff if it's like the 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 real life kind of serious topics or like the the conspiracy stuff or just kind of just talking about you know simple things like kits and predictions and whatever else you guys seem to be really into the shorts and I, I'm very happy with that as well and yeah I, I still think there's a lot more that I can achieve on this website I still want to kind of I don't want to be happy of just kind of getting by I don't want to just be comfortable of just getting by I want to p pursue further in youtube i want to get um your know, videos on trending and i want to kind of be seen as more than just kind of like another guy in the scene and i know that takes time and i know that takes maybe a bit of luck to to get that one that one big break really um and i don't even know where i'm even going with this i'm kind of just spitballing into different areas that um just whatever comes comes to mind um i do want to talk about you know being a father because I think that's changed me a lot as a person in terms of seeing the the important parts of life and seeing really like the future and what I should do towards the future to help me out that I would thank myself later on and that is simply like looking after yourself that's simply about focusing on the main things that you know makes you happy if it's something as simple as you know having a good night's sleep if it's something as simple as just feeling good about yourself if it's by having some water staying hydrated not eating as much you know nonsense as what you 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 could um doing some sort of exercise like you know, i've been playing football for a football team here for, for a year and a half now and i, I love it because it keeps me fit it keeps me active it keeps me looking forward to things on the weekends of course i've not got that 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 thing each weekend like what i used to go to burn the game so i've replaced that with my football and being focused of playing football got my trainings tuesday thursdays got a game on saturday sunday got playing football with mates on wednesdays and the weekend as well so football's like my, my life because it keeps me active it keeps me fit it keeps me healthy and uh, keeps me active in terms of looking forward for something and i'm trying to balance that with having a daughter and uh, one thing i'll say with like with, with Lily is that like thank god I got Sonia <laughs> um I know that she'll be watching this I know um but the things that I've I've seen her gone through uh, going through and the things that she does even just without even thinking about it it, it it astounds me every single day the things that she does and without her I'll be I'll, I'll be lost um especially when it comes to just how well she is and how proud she makes me as being a mother um to my child and i cannot be any more proud of her and i'm thinking of the future in terms of like you know where would i want to raise my daughter what do i want to, what do i want to raise her in poland or raise her in england and having all these questions in terms of what kind of person will she be and in a way i can almost relive my my childhood through her because my childhood was relatively quite normal um of course you guys may already know about you know my mom and you know, my, my my family life was relatively normal until like age of like seven or eight when my mom started getting a bit worse, you know, week by week and um, that kind of loving family or loving um, parents relationship that, you know, my mom and my dad kind of dissipated very much by the time I was like seven and I, I could tell and it, it, it made it kind of an awkward atmosphere in the house, arguments, verbal arguments and kind of like almost feeling like you have to like, you have to like pick a side otherwise one would be let down or one would be like thinking about things that you wouldn't want them to think and it's like hard about trying to balance that and that's just like little things that I had grown up and I know that's by no means any, anywhere near like bad like I know people go through a lot worse that's just kind of my own experience and you know having kind of half and half life which a lot of people they have like parents that divorce or separate so that's like a normal thing um but I I I just 
I can relive my childhood through my daughter in terms of like changing things and the scars that I may have for my childhood that I can almost try to learn from the mistakes that I had or that I went through from my parents and I make sure I protect her from that. Um, but is that how much protection is too much protection in terms of if you wrap her in cotton wool, then maybe her perspective of life would, would not be in the same way that sometimes you may have to go through one or two hard times and you may have to fall down a few times to learn from your mistakes and then become a better person. I think that my experiences with my mom, even though that, you know, for many people it'd be really disastrous and really um, like uh, mentally draining in terms of how much impact it will have on your life and how you see life. For me, I, 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 I matured at a very young age, much younger than other people. Um, uh, that at least I like to think. And I, I used my weird humor at the time to kind of like, deflect off how I was really feeling on the inside I was a very like very emotional and very like um self-depreciative self-depreciative child that I just took the piss out of myself to make myself feel better because if I if I laugh at myself then other people can't laugh at me so if I own the fact that I'm a chubby insecure little squeaky kid um and uh, if I own that then no one can use that against me and it wouldn't hurt even though actually deep inside it hurts me very much at the core I gotta pretend that I don't care otherwise people would then use that on me so that's how I saw life growing up and that's how I, I tried to um you know portray myself as you know trying to be a kind of more mature person. There's not one day that goes in my mind that I don't look at my daughter and think that I just, I wish that she can meet my mum. I, I wish that I can, she can have that, that grandma figure. And yeah, you know, I, I always, I think of that every single day. Every time, every time I see her, I always see parts of my mum in her, parts of myself, parts of Sonia. And I, I, I don't go a single day without missing that. And of course, living in Poland and I'm away from my family, that kind of connection between my family and her isn't as strong as it it could be and um you know there could be a time in the future where we can move back to england and then but then of course she should be away from sonia's family so it's kind of hard to balance that and um, there could be a, a time in the future that i could actually move back to england um maybe not full time full time but on like a, a 50 50 basis so we have like a house in england and a house in poland and then we can like go back and there's opportunities in my life in terms of career wise that i'm pursuing and opportunities are opening up which is very exciting right now um some things alongside Burnley football club which um hope some things fall into place of course if you guys have seen before you know, I've worked at Burnley football club um being a, being a commentator for the for Burnley in a Premier League game I went down to Brighton and 3-0 win great game and the pride that I had just to be sat down in you know in the press box at a Premier League stadium of a, a kid that literally <laughs> had a speech impediment and couldn't even speak more than eight words together in a sentence at the age of like 12 you know i was very very like introverted and the fact that i'm doing this i'm just like i, I look at i just it's it's hard to take a step back sometimes because like so much happens so fast that you don't want to deep it too much because you feel like there's still so much more to do but sometimes you just just got to say like you know I'm, I'm proud of myself and i just can't believe that things have happen the way that it has and you guys are a massive part of that i've done videos before in the past about how like youtube has saved my life on where i was and using it as a as an escape route as a um just just trying to get out of what i was currently stuck in and i had friends growing up and i got i had people that helped me and i i greatly appreciate them massively of course you know my wedding is next month so you know, people that I care about are coming, some aren't that I wish would be going there as well, which is, I understand because that's part of life and that people have got other things that they, they see important. Well, I've had people ask me some advice about like becoming a father and like, you know, like any sort of advice. And really, I can't really give advice in terms of like, you know, I can't say not what, you know, not what not to do and what to do because really it's your own experience in terms of how do you see life and you know, of course, look after them, make sure they're fed and make sure they, they, they get changed. And But in terms of when she is currently at the age of seven months old, you can see her slowly now start adapting and recognizing the world and recognizing herself. Like, oh my God, I got hands and I got feet. And every single day, it's like something new you notice. And I I, I cannot um, explain that feeling of just, it, it, it's, it's like, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's just pride. Uh, this pride of seeing um there's something so innocent and pure and trying to do what is best for that because you know that nothing bad should ever happen 
to that pure thing that you've brought into the world and you know that's your child and you want to try and pass off the good things of yourself to her and i, I feel like I, I see life in a relatively decent aspect in terms of uh, i like to be realistic in the way i see it and more think about yourself in terms of if you don't love yourself then you can't expect anyone else to love you you need to look after yourself and I feel like you shouldn't really be looking for other people to give you that reason to be proud about yourself. You need to be proud of yourself because you look after yourself and you care about yourself. You go to the gym or you eat healthily or you do some sort of exercise. You you, you, you learn, you read books, you watch documentaries, whatever else. You, you, you educate yourself. You know, even like little things, like each day you wake up in the morning, brush your teeth, make your bed. You know, simple things, make sure that things are tidy in your household. That plate that you left on your 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 desk or something clean it up you know i've got one bowl here and i've had some cereal this morning and i'm put i'm gonna make sure i put it in dishwasher straight after this and you got a clear and organized house and an organized way of living and you got an organized mind and you can look at things in a much more clearer perspective and i feel like i'm waffling like incredibly here but this is just like kind of I don't really talk about this much because cause being in Poland, I'm not really around my friends that often or my friends that I had back in England. I've got other friends here, but you know they speak English to a good level, but I can't really speak that deep with them uh, because their English only goes so far. And I feel like I, I kind of miss that kind of like sit down, real talk kind of experience that I would have had back in England. So I don't really, I, I feel like I'm kind of to my own thoughts over here. So I just want to like kind of portray them and project them out here. Honestly, like the thought of being married next month, and it's like, wow, like what else is there next? You know, I got a child. I'm building a house. I've I'm gonna be married. I'm gonna be a husband, and I'm a father. So it's like, what more is there possibly to do? I've probably been in a, in a goddamn retirement home in, three, in two, three years time. Like by the time I'm 25, like. I don't really know what the point of this video is. It's kind of just more just me just kind of just talking about what I think. And I, I want to be proud of my work. I want to be proud of my YouTube. I want to be like that video I did last week about the the, the, the power of football nostalgia. That's one of my favorite all-time videos. I, I, I love the editing of that and the kind of, I can use my, I, I can show my side of me, my kind of like weird side of me, like kind of weird humor and um, match it with some, I mean, I, I, I just love that video. If you guys have not seen it, then please do, because it didn't do that well compared to other videos, and that's kind of how YouTube works. It's like the, the videos that you put the less effort in, it does the best, and the ones you are proud about and you put a lot of effort in, it does the worse. It seems like it, it, it happens like that all the time, and that's just how YouTube is sometimes. Um, but yeah, for all the support on everywhere, um, not a single day that goes by without, I, I, I thank you um, for giving me your time of day, and... Yeah, I, I do this video kind of real talk thing like every like couple of months when I like I, I feel like I'm I'm self reflective and so much has happened in a positive way that it's hard to really like you know I I I'm just happy man in every single way I I I don't think it's really one thing that like I can really talk about that is like negative really like you know, just over here experiencing the world off in Europe and may go on to other countries and see what life and cultures I call for there and I'm happy that I'm grateful that I've been able to be given this opportunity and yeah man like I, I don't know what more I could really say <laughs> I really don't um just kind of felt like just putting this out there and for you guys that may have some sort of connection to me or maybe going through some things that is similar to me or not similar to me like maybe you're coming a father yourself maybe you want to lose some weight or something because I get that question a lot because people ask people see my tr transformation in just the last couple of months you know i went from like 86 kg to 64 kg now I'm relatively quite a skinny guy and that's just by just doing the simple things and looking after yourself you know i i, I still have a mackies every now and then you know i still and treat myself in that way but to make sure that i just stay fit um, in terms of just playing football and that helps me out a lot uh, mentally and physically so yeah, man, just talk to me down below. And um, tomorrow will be like a normal video. But I just, I was here thinking about like, like what video I can do today for the second video. I was thinking, I, I, I don't really know. Like my mind kind of felt kind of like blank in terms of like a video idea and just kind of felt like just talking about 
life. Um, if you guys do have any more questions, I, I'm over on Twitch. I'll be live. You know, ask some questions. Feel free. But the main takeaway is probably just to look after yourself, self love. Because if you don't love yourself and you don't appreciate yourself, then no one else will. You can't expect other people to do things for you in a way that you'd hope if you can't even do that for yourself. And that's for people that may be a bit down or in a rotten life and that happens to, to a lot of people. And I always say, like, just try to take off little tiny things each day, which is very easy to achieve if you just spend a couple of minutes doing it. And you can take that in your mind, think, okay, I've done that, I've done that. And each thing that you tick, you almost give yourself like a imaginary pat on the back. And it's like, okay, well, I've done that. And like, you, you feel organized and you feel like you, you're working towards something. And each day, it, it, that kind of is, that, that, that portrays to how you are seen to the outside world by other people. If you look organized, then people can like, they notice, they notice these kind of things. So, yeah. Um, there's so many different topics I've gone into in this video, but um, it's kind of mad. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting married next month, so you guys will be seeing more tweets about that, and I cannot wait. Um, and of course, you see all the, all the pictures of my daughter on, online as well, and um, she will be a Burnley fan, so she will hate me for that, but she will, and she's she's going to love it. <laughs> she's going to love that. Jesus. Um, but yeah, thank you all for, for being here. If you, guys watch, if you guys watch to the end, then thanks. I don't know why, but thanks. And yeah. I'll see you guys next time for a video tomorrow, a normal video, but until then, nice, until then, stay safe, look after yourself, I'll see you later on, peace out.